If you're asked to find the greatest common factor for 7 and 28, here's how you do it. So the greatest common factor, the GCF, sometimes you'll see that called the greatest common divisor or the highest common factor. I like GCF. So what we do, we find the factors of 7, we look at the factors in common, and we just select the greatest one. That's the GCF. So for 7, 1 times 7, that equals 7. But really, that's it. For 28, we could have 1 times 28, that equals 28. 2 times 14, that'd be 28. And then 4 times 7. But that's it. These are the factors for 28. So we have our factors. Now we find the common factors. So 1, that goes into 7 and 28 evenly. And 7, that goes into 7. And 7 goes into 28 evenly. So the greatest common factor, that's going to be 7. So that's it. That's the GFC for 7 and 28. You could also use something like prime factorization, but unless you have big numbers, this is often quicker. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.